Remember the good old days when TV was free? Most of us now see our favorite programs through cable or a satellite dish, which is definitely not free. You pay the cable company, broadcasters want the cable companies to pay them. It's known as retransmission consent. Under federal law, a television station like this one may choose to negotiate with a cable system operator. The TV station can ask for money from the cable company in exchange for permission to carry the station and its programming. The cable operator can refuse and not carry the station or can offer a counterproposal. If you're calling about your local Sinclair broadcasting station, please press 1. Bringing us to the current stalemate involving your cable provider, Mediacom, and the owner of this and other TV stations, Sinclair Broadcast Group. We simply believe that we should receive what in our view is a fair price. And all this boils down to is there's a disagreement between Mediacom and Sinclair over what a fair price is. A fair price for the programming paid for and provided by this and other Sinclair stations. Mediacom declined our request for an on-camera interview for this story, but they have provided written responses. Mediacom is willing to pay a fair price. We have offered to give Sinclair the option of taking any deal we've made with more than 450 other stations, or we will accept the deals that Sinclair has done with other cable companies like Insight and Comcast. Sinclair has said no and is demanding more. In lieu of an agreement, Sinclair has notified Mediacom not to carry any of Sinclair's stations beyond November 30th. Mediacom now has sued Sinclair. Mediacom's lawsuit against Sinclair was driven in large part by our desire to protect the interests of our customers. Sinclair was insisting that Mediacom pay for all of its stations in our service areas in a single package without consideration to the differences in the various markets. We believe this all or nothing scheme violates antitrust law. Mediacom's not the only way for Mediacom subscribers to receive our television stations. I mean, Mediacom wants to paint this as it, it's, it's the most horrible event for the viewers. And again, we, we recognize there's inconvenience associated with this, but we're available in other ways. By switching providers or by receiving the signal via antenna. Sinclair has signed consent agreements with other cable system operators without a problem. Mediacom says it's negotiated contracts with every other broadcaster in 23 states except for Sinclair, leaving viewers to wonder who will blink. I'm Craig Demchak reporting.